My next guest today has used his writing and filmmaking skills to team up with a charity to help others. Keith Large is a Colville-based writer who is part of the Grace Due Writers Circle and his latest film, The Silent Treatment, highlights the subtle signs of abuse in relationships in which silence is used as a form of coercive control. The film has been supporting Leicestershire charity Living Without Abuse, which provides help for anyone suffering from domestic abuse or sexual violence. And I'm really pleased to say that we're joined by Keith now to talk about this a little bit more. Good afternoon to you. Good afternoon, Kelly. It's lovely to have you on the show. Firstly, um, what made you want to make this film? Uh, It was a story that was brought to me by somebody I knew who'd had a real-life experience of uh, where there was in a relationship where silence was used as a form of emotional bullying. But obviously, they didn't realise it was happening until further into the relationship. And they came to me, they knew I was a writer, and they said, you must write this story. So I originally wrote the story with dialogue, and I particularly wanted the director, Stephen Lansfield, to direct it. And I showed Stephen the script, and he loved the powerfulness of the story. But he said, I think this would work even better if we did it as a silent film without dialogue to emphasise the use of silence as coercive control. And uh, I'm really pleased with the results. When that person was telling you that story, did you feel sort of like, wow, because often for people perhaps who haven't experienced it or and, and people start to talk about it and tell you, sometimes it's very alien, isn't it, to imagine, if you're someone who's been in healthy relationships, to imagine somebody who hasn't been and what that's it sounds a little crazy doesn't it you know when someone says about the the silent treatment yeah well as you just said it sounds a little bit crazy and i think the whole the whole form of the the abuser is to make the victim doubt themselves and whereas other forms of um in this case domestic abuse say physical where you can see the results of bruising or even something where in the modern world where people's abused by text and you can see the result of it being written down. Silence, there's no actual trace of it. So you begin to doubt yourself and you're thinking, am I really imagining this? Is this really happening to me? So that's uh, where it's um, a different form of abuse. And Mm -hmm. yes, it does make you you think, is this believable? Well, yeah, and it's that thing of, and and listen, I've been in a relationship where somebody did this to me, and I know you feel like you, as that person, and and the victims of this, that you feel like you're going insane, like you know, it it makes you feel crazy, and I think um, this, well, that I know there's something incredibly cruel about that, Um, and it's hard. I always found when I was explaining to people years later when I realised what that relationship was like for me and how mentally abusive it was I realised often with people that hadn't ever been around that that they found it really difficult to understand what I was saying because it is so hard to explain so putting this in a film and and like you say using it as a silent film as well sounds extremely powerful yeah and as you just said it's the idea is we want to get it over to people that who have experienced this, that they are actually not alone and they're not to blame. And with the film getting out there, we've had a wonderful reaction to it. So many people have opened up and it's done what we wanted to do. It started the conversation. Is victims now realise that, you know, it's not just them. It it really does happen, and they are, you know they're not to blame, and that's the most important thing. They're not to blame. It is, and that's your you know everything you said there is crucial. It's key that when we communicate, when people who have been through this can talk to others who've been through it. When you know there are people out there who still perhaps in these relationships don't realise what's going on. They still think it's them. But if the more we talk about it, raise awareness uh, about these topics, the more we can help people and and help them feel less alone and know that it's actually it's not them and it's nothing they have done to deserve it. it it's a huge a huge issue. It, it really is, and it's great. It's great that you've had a good response to the film so far. How is it helping um, charities like Living Without Abuse? How's you know because obviously your your the film's been supporting them and their work. It obviously gives them them more exposure, and um, also 
together it gives us a platform to help each other so uh only this morning I was talking with uh, a group of performing arts students at Loughborough College and we're hoping to put together a series of short stage plays about um, the things that the charity covers and also use it as a fundraiser for the charity and also raise awareness furthermore. So uh, the fact that we've been able to put the film with the ch a local charity like Living Without Abuse uh, is great for both of us because you know, it helps us both get the message out there. Yeah, absolutely. How can we find out more, Keith, uh, about um, the film that you've put together? Um, it, is it all online? Are, the, are you yes, are you online? So, so a lot, a lot of the time, a lot of my films, which people like to remind me, a lot of my films are mostly comedies, and this is a very much a change of direction for me doing a serious film. Um, we deliberately have put this film straight away onto YouTube so people can see it because we want to get this film out as far and as wide as possible. Sometimes you hold films back because some film festivals don't like films that have been put out there globally. But we decided to uh, waive that worry for this one. We just wanted this one to be out there from the off. So all you need to do is type in either The Silent Treatment, Stephen Lansfield, that's the name of the director, or The Silent Treatment, K Lens, that's my production company, and you can see The Silent Treatment. And also a film that I did about six years ago, uh, which was about um, sexual predators in the entertainment industry, which I wrote literally about two months before the Me Too campaign came wow. out. Um, that is also supporting uh, Living Without Abuse. And that film, A Date With Shillelagh, is finally uh, online for people who want to watch that. So I've got two, two films out there on YouTube that are both conveying a very serious message and hope that can help people yeah absolutely it's powerful stuff and i wonder when we're having this chat whether you know for uh, students at secondary school perhaps in the later years or maybe even at college um or university whether we should be pushing films like yours to be shown to them as well because i feel like um you know i i look back and i was in my early 20s when i was in this relationship and for years i didn't really understand and always thought it was my fault and i feel like we have a duty to educate younger people about healthy relationships and what what they are and red flags as well exactly you know and as i said earlier in the interview to make people who are going through it feel that you know realize that they're not alone they're not to blame and you know when they're actually doubting themselves particularly in like the case of the silent treatment where you're silent you're thinking am i losing my mind is this really happening to me well yes it really is happening to you, you but you're not losing your mind and what's happening to you is wrong and you are being abused and you can go and get support from wonderful charities like living without abuse who can give you further advice it's been really nice having you on the show and, and talking about this subject and hearing about the film that you've made, which sounds so powerful. Thank you so much for coming on, Keith. Pleasure, Kelly. Pleasure. Uh, that is Keith Large. He's a Colville-based writer, part of the Grace Dew Writers' Circle, and uh, we've been talking about his latest film, The Silent Treatment, which highlights the subtle signs of abuse in relationships in which silence is used as a form of coercive control. And uh, he also, obviously, is working with the charity, the Leicestershire charity, Living Without Abuse. If you do know somebody who is going through any kinds of abuse in a relationship and does need some help, they can reach out to Living Without Abuse. The number is 01509 Most importantly, no, it's never your fault and you are never alone. 27 minutes past midday right now. You are listening to BBC Radio Leicester.